Welcome back to Midday. Amanda McKean and I were having a little giggle over that footage. I don't think I'd want to be handling a dead snake either. No. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Much better to talk about Tupperware. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I like talking about Tupperware, yes. so that's why I'm here today. Yeah, you betcha. What are we doing today? I'm excited um, about this contraption. Yeah, this is one of our newest pieces. It just came out in the new summer catalog. Um, and this is our sorbet maker. So it's perfect for a hot summer like this. Mm -hmm. um, I've been using it like crazy. I have a three-year-old at home, so you'll see. She thinks Can't it's magic. Wrong. Yeah, we put strawberries in the top and she's, you know, we'll see, sorbet will come out and she goes awesome. running off, strawberry ice cream. Oh, so, perfect, and you yeah. tricked her. It, yeah, it's a healthier it's, option yeah, too. Yeah. She's hel yeah, she helps me load it up, but she thinks it's magic that awesome. ice cream comes out. Well, and so. I was already thinking, I mean, we'll see as it goes, but my kids are a little bit older, but they could totally do this themselves too. Oh yeah, no, she definitely helps me, even awesome. at three, so it's that easy to use. So cool. yeah, it's okay. very cool. So We're ready to see the magic. Okay, so basically you could do pretty much any fruit through this. We do a lot of strawberries, mangoes, bananas are absolutely oh. awesome. Um, and you'll see, we're just gonna load some in the topper. So I've got some strawberries here. Um, I've had them out for about 15 minutes. Usually if I take them right out of the freezer, I'll nuke them in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Just soften them up a little you bit. You just want the edges to soften so that the blades inside here will grab onto the fruit. So, right, okay. Yeah, so super quick. Um, I also really like that option too, because. You don't need to plug this in. You could take it to the beach or on a picnic. Oh, that's a great right? idea. So you don't have to pre-make it so it melts. Yeah, no, throw your frozen fruit into the cooler with some ice and by probably a couple hours later, by the time you're ready to make it, That'd be it's, perfect. Yeah, it'll awesome. just be that little bit thawed. So we're just gonna use our plunger here and it's just a crank handle. So as okay. you can see, kids can really do it. Yeah, because you're not having to apply a lot of force or anything. Yeah, and my strawberries might be a little bit too melted. They're kind of liquidy coming out there, <laughs> but give it a sec to get to the frozen stuff and you'll see. Yeah. It comes out just like sort of soft serve ice mm -hmm. cream. There you go. Can you use it for so. other things other than fruit? Um, or is the primary purpose? It's I've I've tested it. I've mm -hmm. used it and I've used it because that's what I do. They give me something and I'm like, okay, yeah. let's see what let's this see what we can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't really grab like if we tried ice or like I've tried frozen coconut milk because I thought, oh, that would be really oh, good okay. as an ice cream, right? It did not work at all. Um, but you'll see in the next segment though we do have something that works for that. So and okay. that's that, right? Simple, easy sorbet. Um, the bananas are awesome actually to use because they're um, basically they're just sweet. They don't have a lot of flavor mm. themselves. So you could. Add Add some chocolate syrup, like the chocolate milk oh, mix, yeah. or even cocoa powder, a little drop of mint, and you'd have a chocolate um, mint sorbet. Um, with this, I like to do, I've got some sparkling water for a bit more of an adult drink. You <laughs> yeah, could make it fancier. You could yeah. add some um, sparkling wine as well if you wanted to make it a bit more what adult. A funny idea. Right? Yeah. So just like that, you kind of have a bit of an adult. Adult and it's enjoyment. Pretty. You could right? garnish it, even add some raspberries. You on could, top. yeah, a little sprig of mint mm. on top, and just like that, you've got Alrighty. a nice, Should refreshing sample? summer drink. I'm yeah, excited, go for and with it, all of so. our sore throats here in BC mm -hmm. right now, this is also a perfect thing. Yeah, great. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So the the options mm. really are just endless. So it's yeah. delicious. Yeah, yeah, and so easy. So. What did what did that take us? Two, three minutes? Exactly. That's what I love. It's yeah. so fast. This whole unit comes apart. Um, it's all, it all goes in the dishwasher. So oh, cleanup see, is really easy. That's yeah. music to a mother's ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even after school, it'd be great for the kids to come home. You could put a package in the freezer and say, when you're done your other jobs, go ahead and make yourself a survey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I have quite a few of my friends have kids that are a little bit older and yeah. even them still, they still think it's amazing to, to make their own ice cream, their own survey. Awesome. The thing I love about it too, is there's absolutely no additives or preservatives. Right. So you get to choose what goes in it. Exactly. Yeah. You will not find a sorbet at the grocery store that does not have some sort of mm -hmm. additive in it. Um, the reason being is if you leave this like you could make this ahead of time freeze it for about two days um, but after that it starts to crystallize right because it's right? real fruit <laughs> it's real fruit there's awesome. nothing else so the surveys at the grocery store all have an additive mm -hmm. to prevent that so this okay. way it's healthy it's easy it's sugar-free great right and we'll be back with another segment Matt is gonna do something else fun with us in just a couple of minutes we'll be back with more midday Welcome back to Midday. We're visiting again with Amanda McKean, who is a Tupperware representative. Is that the right representative consultant? My my actual title is business leader. Okay, but it doesn't Perfect. matter. That's so for all, all your Tupperware thing. needs, <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, Amanda has some great products behind us as well. But today we're making things for 
Uh, warm days for summer days. We start off with a sorbet. And what are we making now? Uh, now we're going to make this. You'll see it's the same base that we use to make our sorbet, but okay. we're going to make snow cones. So um, I've actually got, I've frozen some root beer here. Just in ice cubes? Just in ice cubes, yeah, your ice cube tray that you've got. Perfect. You can do it with just plain ice and then add it, add a syrup like oh. you would with a traditional okay. snow cone, but I was... Um, I actually think this was a pregnancy craving one day. I was just like, mm, root beer. And, yes. <laughs> and can you go wrong yeah. with root beer popsicle in summer? I don't think so. No, yeah. And you can make it adult too. Like you could have added a little bit of Malibu rum or something right. to that before freezing. Um, but this unit here, it's a slightly different top. And I have it all in pieces just to show you how easy mm -hmm. it is to go together. So this is actually a great master shredder. It's been out for a little while. I've actually had it on the show before. So this cone here does like, it will grate your cheese, your carrots, your zucchini, okay. right? There's a finer grater for doing like chocolate or things that you want kind of little flakes of. And then Ooh, this one here. I like that here, idea, doing chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one here has a cover on it because these blades are super duper sharp. Oh. So this is our ice grater cone right okay. here. So, and you can see how big that is, easy to clean out. You can load it in the dishwasher if you want, but I find it super easy just to yeah. stick a cloth in there, right? It just slides in like that, and you turn the handle on. Easy as can be. Just like that. You've got your unit put together, awesome. and when you slide this on here and turn that, that locks the base, and it also suctions it onto the counter. So oh, you can see that's, that's not great. Really, yeah. So again, also good for doing at home if the kids are helping you out. And I like that the blades are all so contained. Yes, yeah, it's all very safe. Once it's together, yeah. you know, your kids aren't going to be able to hurt themselves on that. So okay. washing and clean up, obviously, for parents. But, so is yeah. this attachment, and you said the space is the same, right? So people can buy the base and then just buy the different attachments? Yes, yeah. Okay. There's several other attachments as well. We have a juicer. There's a, a grinder for grinding your own meats. A lot of hunters like that one. Awesome. So, yeah, this little unit, once you have the base, you can add all kinds of good Great. stuff. Something so. for everybody. Yeah, and Great. this one, you can see, we just need to put our ice cubes in here. Mm -hmm. And same thing, crank the handle. It's so nice that it's quiet and there's no power required. Yes, that's the other thing yeah. too. So I have I'm a, liking everything. Yeah, <laughs> I have a two and a half month old at home right now, so it's nice I can make myself and my daughter a snack yes, without turning without on the blender. The world up. Yeah. yeah. So just use our plunger here and you can see out comes. Awesome. Just like that, you have a snow cone. And I was prepared. So. I thought it was going to go everywhere, but it didn't. Yeah, no, I did. didn't. Yeah, I spilled a little bit there. Oh, just barely. That's um, great. And yeah, you can make as much or as little as you want. So. And you could make thousands of flavors with that as well. Oh, yeah. My it's, daughter would have a heyday with yeah, that. That's, it's endless. It's great, too. Like, you can continue. freeze um, concentrated coffee or concentrated tea. Oh, that's a fun yep. idea. And then so. top it up. Yeah, just top it up with a little try bit a scoop of liquid. As well? Oh yeah, I love root beer. Before so we double dip. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Next time I come mm. on, I'll do a root beer cake. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I do that at a lot of my home parties. Actually, is make root beer cakes. So next that's time, I make root beer. Surely so. we could have squeezed you in for a third time today <laughs> if it was a root beer cake. <laughs> if I need the stuff, so yeah. <laughs> if people would like to find out more information or order anything, where can they visit you? Um, you can find me at www.twmom.ca, so it's tupperwaremom.ca, twmom, yeah. Um, and I do have, I actually put a challenge out for my entire team to do a wildfire relief fundraiser. Mm. That's what these products actually are in the back. They're part of our fundraising program. 40% of your purchase goes to a wildfire relief Fantastic. cause. So if you're interested in that, check out my website or contact your local consultant if they're on my team. They probably have a fundraiser set up. Okay. So, so yeah. if you've been waiting to buy that one special item, now is the time. That's so great. Thank you guys for giving back. Yeah. Everywhere we can get relief is welcome right now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Great. So. Thanks so much for being on the show. We always love what you do. These are super fun treats. And uh, I'm glad that I get to experience them too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more midday in just a moment.